wow. It's beautiful, Elaine. And I'm not referring to the subject matter. No. You do beautiful work. I painted it from memory. Well, I will hang it in a special place. It'll bring back really good memories of you. One of your success stories, huh? No, you're the success story, Elaine. You know? I didn't kick heroin, and I didn't find a job and keep it, and it wasn't me who found an apartment and started school. You've made a great life for yourself. Good start, anyway. You're strong, don't forget that, okay? Does that mean we're done? You are done with probation. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm always here. If you ever need to talk, you've got the number, okay? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> There was something that I never brought up. A baby. Your baby? You want me to help a junkie who sold her baby? Come on, Liz. You're not listening, Mike. Well, that's about as low as it gets. Elaine is an ex-junkie clean for over a year. She didn't sell her baby. She thinks her ex-boyfriend did. She thinks. She got Alzheimer's, too? She was stoned out of her mind. Well, she put her in line for mother and month. The boyfriend told her the baby died, OK? She was only a few weeks old. Your friend bothered to check that out? No, not until recently. And there's no record of the baby's death. Not until recently? Why not until recently? What kind of mother lets something like that go? One who's a total mess, which Elaine was. You know, guilty, grief-stricken, she probably didn't want to know. And anyway, she's different now. Just like that? No, not just like that. I've counseled her for over a year. She's worked her tail off to get it together. I have complete faith in her. I think your bleeding heart has gotten the best of you. Some people say that's why I'm hanging out with you. Are you gonna help me out here or what? I appreciate you looking into this for me. Your probation officer is very persuasive. I'm doing this for her. Fair enough. I still appreciate it. Let's start with a boyfriend. He said his name is Luke. Luke Smolin. He doesn't exist. Left town? Could have. Luke wasn't his real name. There's no one by that name anywhere. Believe me. I checked. Was he from Philly? Said so, but he was a junkie. He'd say anything. But junkies don't move around much. Well, they're running from the law. Where's he hang? Indiana, down on the 6th. But I looked around, couldn't find him. Mm -hmm. Probably in a mug book. I got some sources down there. I got to ask you, why did you even have this baby? I might have had an abortion, but I didn't even know I was pregnant until it was too late. How could that be? <laughs> I was an addict, Mike. Irregular periods, in a fog most of the time. You gotta sound great at a custody hearing. You have any idea how tough this is gonna be? I do. Yeah? Because even if we find your daughter, chances are you're not gonna get her back. I called her Jenny. I've gotta know. Whatever the consequences. If you don't wanna help, it's fine. Oh, that's okay. I promise, Liz. It's driving me crazy. Can't think about it more, so Are you gonna think about Heather and her psychiatrist? Well, I tried to imagine them discussing Sigmund Freud. With the clothes on? Let it go, Marcellus. <laughs> I try to. I go home, have dinner, you know, call Ashton. 
at the sack. Bam, three o'clock in the morning, wide awake, thinking about them. You can always go home. I don't know that she would have me. Guess she could ask. Yeah, I guess I could. But come on, you, you didn't come here to play marriage counselor, did you? I will if that's what you mean. Well, do me a favor. All right. Take my mind off of it. Suppose I told you I knew a woman who thinks her baby was sold, now she wants her back. She have anything to do with this seller? That's not entirely clear. Then if you told me officially, I'd have to report it. How about unofficially? I'll give you this. You took my mind off Deborah. I know this Good Samaritan thing means a lot to you, but it just sounds over the line. I know. Liz asked me. Not her baby. No, it's an ex-client. No, she asked me as a favor. I just need you to help me look into some things. Yeah. That's what I live for. Elaine Jones turned 21 right before she was busted. Address listed as a homeless squat. Arrested for trying to buy heroin from an undercover cop. That all squares what you said to me. Did she tell you she uh, tried to buy $500 worth? No, we didn't get into that. Or that she had another 500 pinned in her underwear? Oh, she left that out, too. That's a grand, Mike. Yeah, I did the math. She could have been hooking. What, in that neighborhood looking like she crawled out of a sewer? Not enough hours in a day. You thinking what I'm thinking? Where'd the money come from? I don't know. Well, think. A thousand bucks? It doesn't just fall from the sky. Luke probably left it when he split. Or maybe you sold the baby yourself. Oh, come on, Mike. I didn't. I know that. Well, I don't. And if you want me to help you, I need the facts. But why is this coming up now? You were counseling for a year. Seems like you would have mentioned that, right, counselor? It's a fair question. For a long time, I couldn't stand to think about it. Uh-huh. Because you would have gone to jail. No cushy probation gig. It was too painful to know that I could have allowed that to happen. Whenever it came up, I pushed it away. I felt I wasn't worth it. I felt that wherever Jenny was was better than being with me. I was... Not really. Speaking as an ex-cop, it sounds suspicious. Maybe I should turn myself in, let them arrest me. No, you shouldn't. Why not? Clear the air. Because I said no. You let that happen, you lose your job, you get kicked out of school, and then where will you be? You worked too hard to toss it all away, and so have I. I need to speak to you about my client. How are you doing, Liz? I'm great. Listen, I need a little time here, and a little help would be nice. Unofficial, of course. Yeah. Work okay? Your home, your love life? Everything's wonderful, Marcellus, okay. yeah. And how are you? Well, I'll get over it. But uh, your client, Elaine, this could mean big trouble for her. Give me a week. Didn't I help you when Cal Milton was in a jam? Yeah, Cal Milton is not a criminal. He's 12 years old. He had an illegal handgun. Yeah, he needed it for protection. Huh? No one needs narcotics, and he certainly don't need to be selling babies. You think it's that simple? Well, sticking a needle in your arm seems like a simple decision to me. All right, like you just wake up one morning and say, hey, I'm going to be a junkie today. I'm going to go throw my life away. Well, spare me the tortured soul speech, Liz. I don't make the laws. You just bend them when it's convenient. I don't know what you mean by that. You've done it before, Marcellus. I don't know what you mean by that. Look, I'll cut your clients some slack, but if something bad turns up, you know the drill. No. No. I never knew there were so many criminals. We're all over. You're in here. Guess I'm in there, too. Whoa. That's him. Ray Stazak. Bastard. I've never run into him. Are you sure? Absolutely. He's got no address, 
He wanted a connection with two burglaries and an armed robbery. Is that good or bad? It's good. If we find him, it gives us leverage for information. Bad if it made him leave town. Hey, Marcellus. Ray Stashak. Mm -hmm. I don't know him. Hung out around 6th in Indiana. I'll check some of my sources. OK, I'll ask around, too. You never know. Dad! Hey, Dad! Hi, Mike. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Oh. We got to go to basketball. Yeah? Where's your mother? Over there. How you doing? Good. You? OK. You uh, want to say hi to Mike? I would, but I, I have to go. Ceramics class? Yeah. You going out afterwards? Leave it alone, Marcellus. I'll pick Ashton up here after school tomorrow. Any chance this Ray might have taken off with the kid himself? Jenny wasn't his. Who is the father? I don't know. I was a bad girl, out of control. Slept with a lot of guys, didn't care what happened to myself. Or to anybody else, it seems. I won't deny that. But I don't feel that way anymore. That's where we stayed. The place gives me the creeps. Wanna leave? Wait a minute. Paula? Don't know Elaine. Sure as hell don't know you. Elaine Jones. I used to live in there with Luke. Oh yeah. Hey, we shot up together. What happened to you? You went to jail, right? Over a year ago. Wow. You ever see Luke? Luke the puke? No, I never did. He sold me some bad stuff. Could you spare a little? I don't use any more, Paula. I'll buy you lunch if you want. Uh, maybe you could loan me a few bucks. I can't, sorry. Yeah, sure you can. I can tell by looking at you. <laughs> it wouldn't be a good idea. I could take you to a meeting. Shut up. Don't try bringing me that 12-step pull. I thought you was my friend. You ain't nothing. You hear that? You ain't nothing. Coming over here with that, who you think you are? You ain't nothing. We should go. Oh, God. I was just like that. Look at this place. How could I have been so awful? You got out. You're not that person anymore.
You need a ride? Say what? I need a fare. You in the wrong part of town, Slick. I look like I can afford a cab. Maybe if you sold another baby, you could. Ray? Or is it Luke? Or does he go by something else now? <laughs> what you need, old school? A few bucks for some muscatel? I need you to answer questions about Elaine Jones's baby. Condition. Yeah. Terminal soreness. Want to play some more? <laughs> hey, we gotta talk. Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter. Now I'm looking for Elaine's baby. I don't gotta talk to your ass, man. No. All right. Well, tell you what. Here's what I got in you. Two counts of burglary and armed robbery. Franklin's Electronics, last September. Cops got it, too. You can't prove nothing. No, I don't have to. I'm gonna give you the cops, and I don't think they'll have any trouble putting you away. I wanna know about that baby. Go so long, man. Teacher says he's doing great in school. Yeah, I think so. It's good that you're staying involved. You thought I wouldn't? No, some men don't, Marcellus. You know that. Well, your surveillance teacher. What's his name, Leo? He got kids? Two. Five and eight. You met them? I don't need the interrogation. Well, I need to know what's going on. You need to know about your son. The rest is none of your business. We're parents, not a couple. Ashton? Buckle up. Someone saw you at the opera with him. Is this fulfilling your need for romance? I quit reporting to my daddy when I was 18. This isn't about us. This is about your ego. Hey. Maybe we should go out on a date, OK? Talk about it. I'm willing to do that. But the first one has to be with a marriage counselor. Yeah, Mike? OK, I'll be right there. Don't do anything rash. Back at you. She would have been a crappy mother. All she cared about was getting loaded. She'd do anything for a fix. I'm sure you put her on the block to pay for it. Hey, man, no one held a gun to her head. Oh, no, of course not. Free will, Ray, that's what it's all about. So did you just sell the baby and move on? <laughs> I left her a grand. 
But she would have spent on dope if she didn't get busted. One grand out of eight. You're a regular prince among men. Most guys would have kept it all. I can't believe the bitch went straight. What do we got? Ray Stazek, AKA Luke and Larry. Now, detective, He I sold don't... the baby to the Butler brothers for eight grand. The Butlers? Mm-hmm. This guy's into drugs. Their sister got knocked up by some sailor. <laughs> Guess they saw the kid as a business opportunity, like the commodities exchange or something. <laughs> Yo, Ray, you know you got um, the right to remain silent. Anything you say... Yo, whoa. what about my immunity? Immunity? Well, I told him I'd do the best I could to lighten things up. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Sorry, Ray. That was my best. Hey, man, we'll shut up. But he's, hey, save it for later, okay? I love serving the public. I really do. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to return. I'm not sure how it happens. Phony birth certificates, shady lawyers, and make things look legitimate. I, that's what I got to find out. What are you taking? A painting class? Oh, you want to be an artist? Art therapist. Work with kids, but I got a ways to go. <laughs> well, Ray was mighty surprised to hear that you cleaned up. Self-improvement wasn't his thing. How'd you hook up with him? I thought he might protect me, but it was mainly for the drugs. You're disgusted, huh? I suppose. What do a lot of people do? Just so you know, I hate what I did, and I struggle with it every day. But I'm only 22. What was I supposed to do? Stop living? No one's suggesting that. I did. When I was in jail, withdrawing, I was so sick. I hated myself so much that I got a razor blade, planned to slit my wrists while everyone slept. Changed my mind, <laughs> thanks to this old alcoholic who was almost dead. And I rolled over in my cot, had the blade against my arm, and I noticed light across this woman's face. <laughs> And that's what stopped you from killing yourself? Yeah. It was just this dull fluorescent glare from a ceiling light. It splashed across this wrinkled cheek, and she looked totally serene. And beauty just hit me. And I knew if I was dead, that beauty wouldn't exist. It's the first time I ever felt grateful to be alive. You ever painted that? I'm working up to it. But I'll do it. And I'm going to show it to my daughter. Got a subpoena on the butler's phone records. Should have it tomorrow. Okay, if I run through the reverse directory? Sure. This is my old butler. Address in Fishtown. Anything on her? Uh, county time for receiving stolen property. Otherwise, she's clean. Maybe. No record. Think about paying her a visit? If only for my own curiosity. Or to keep Liz happy. Maybe I'll take her with me. So, uh, this girl, Elaine, what do you think? I don't know anymore. You know, you look at her, seems normal. You talk to her, she's smart, she's sensitive. Yeah, but somebody who's been down that low, I mean, you gotta wonder. You know, wants a junkie, always. Cross my mind. But some of them replace junk with those meetings. Maybe she'll, uh, she'll do it with motherhood.
I've been sparring on Deborah. Really. Sometimes Ashton goes to spend a night with his grandmother. I park right down the street from the boyfriend's house. Just take him out. Marcellus, you don't want to do that. I can't help it, Mike. She was there at 2 o'clock in the morning. You're going to drive yourself nuts. And that kind of stuff ends one way. Bad. And like I said, I couldn't help it. I can't stand the thought of them together. She doesn't want to talk unless it's at the counselor. And I can't stand the thought of that either. Maybe it wouldn't hurt. I ain't so Liz. Seem to do her some good. Hey, that's it. <laughs> I'll go see Liz. If you get pinched stalking Deborah, you might be seeing Liz as your probation officer. I don't know no old Shansky. I'm Liz Garza, probation. We want to talk to you about your baby. I got no baby. Well, if you want, you can talk to the cops instead. I might have to call somebody. Your brothers? Those protectors of the family honor? Are you official or something? Do I need a lawyer? No one wants to get you in trouble, Pearl. No, but your witnesses who will testify that your brothers, they sold your baby. Oh, that's bull. We don't think so. Then why ain't the cops got him? And why ain't they here? Because no one wants to hurt you or your brothers. There's another woman involved in this, younger than you. She had her baby snatched and sold. Your brothers were the middlemen. Sons of bitches. She wants to find her baby. You have any idea how it works? No. Some lawyer makes it look all legit. So why not just do it legit? Put the baby up for adoption. <laughs> no money in that, darling. <laughs> no money at all. Detective Washington, is everything okay? This is unofficial. You busy? Just working. Come on in. Thanks. It's very pretty. Mike told me you were artistic. Helps keep my head on straight. You want some tea or something? No, no thanks. I'm just stopping by. Oh, I get it. Checking everything out, huh? Yeah. Kid's life could be at stake here. That's the bedroom. If I get Jenny, it's hers. Okay. There's a child care center where I work. There's a woman in the building who likes to babysit. I've even made some new friends with little kids, so I think Jenny'd have a good environment. That's a handsome couple. I agree. When my wife and I got separated, she wouldn't let my son come over to my place until she checked it out. I didn't know you were separated. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just a fact of life. And did your place pass inspection? And does mine? I think Jenny would be very, very happy here. Good night. Detective, thanks for checking. Uh, it's a good thing. Anything? Business stuff, mostly. Got uh, distributors, deliveries, booker I know, mm -hmm. a couple dealers. Okay, this is uh, Roy Butler's home phone calls. Mm -hmm. 
Anyone busting your chops about me being here? I told the lieutenant we're working on an old case. I needed your memory. Besides, the Butler brothers are suspects in a narcotics-related homicide. So if I catch him, you'll put me in for hazardous duty pay, right? Hey, I thought you were in this for the love, Mike. Okay. Albert Moore, attorney at law. Never heard of him. Well, the Butlers called him eight times, December 2002. When did their sister lose her kid? A couple months before that. Six calls then, too. Albert Moore is a family attorney specializing in adoptions. Sure. Absolutely. I remember her like yesterday's used a little birthmark. Because her name's Courtney now. Her name's on a birth certificate, too. Her father's Ray Stazer. Who's the mother? Linda Smith. It's a phony name. Do you know where Jenny is? I do. She's with her family on the main line. He's a mortgage banker. She's a homemaker. And they're both active in the community. They still bought a baby. Yeah, but my hunch is they didn't know. The lawyer covered all the bases. And when respectable people are involved, no one looks very close. So this could open a real can of worms. Maybe we could drive by, take a look. This was a bad idea. We can go if you wanted, and they could be inside on weekend. Your call. I'm used to stakeouts. Get out of here. I can't compete with that. She's 10 times better off with them than she could ever be with me. What the hell was I thinking? Walk away from this. Why now. not? Because you might not get another chance and it'll haunt you for the rest of your life. I know where Jenny is. Doesn't look like she's going anywhere. You're damn right. Not if you walk away. Look, Mike and Detective Washington have information that can help you. The longer you wait, the less it matters. You can lose her, and I know that's not what you want. Right now, what I really want is to get loaded. <sighs> look, you don't mean that. You've liked yourself too much to go down that road again. You know, when you sober up, Jenny'd still be with someone else. You've got to see this through. So I can mess up Jenny's life? Because you're her mother. Because the adoption was illegal. Because being a good parent means more than just having a bunch of stuff. I don't know anymore. I got to go to a meeting. Fine, I'll take you. I want to walk. Don't worry, I may not like myself much right now, but I don't hate myself enough to do that. No one can tell you what to do, Elaine. But you think I should drop it, don't you? Like I said, 
That's not my call. <laughs> Very supportive, Mike. What am I supposed to support? Elaine not giving up? Oh, well, if she's gonna give up, she's gonna give up. Better now than after she makes a big stink out of getting custody. Do mm. you think that rich mainline family is better for Jenny? No, I don't care if they're rich. They seem to care about Jenny. They all seem happy together. I mean, who the hell do we care about anyway? What is that supposed to mean? Well, Jenny's the important person. Look, I like Elaine. I admire what she's doing with her life. But she just said she wants to go get loaded. She didn't mean it. Well, sure she meant it. She's an ex-junkie. Maybe Jenny's better off in a stable environment. With parents who don't want to get loaded every time life gets tough. Elaine is her mother. Well, Jenny'd never know that. She would. At some level, she would. I know it. And besides, what happened was wrong. It was illegal and wrong. Agreed. But you don't want to face the fact that Elaine is the one who let it happen. Elaine is the one who was sticking a needle in her arm while that goon was selling her baby. We got the Butler brothers, the fancy lawyer, two other families, and everybody's prepared to rat out their best friend. Too bad you're not still a cop. There's definitely accommodation in this. For what? Messing up a little girl's life? Well, she's gonna be all right. Meanwhile, you just broke up a major ring for bogus adoptions. What about the parents? Well, it looks like they didn't know. Thought everything was legal. Oh, they must be real happy. Yeah, well, I heard they raised all kinds of hell at social services. Most likely they're going to do the same at family court, even though the DNA confirms that Elaine's the mom. You going to the hearing? No. I got a bad taste about all this. I hate to see that little kid's life get torn apart. I hear you. But there are lots of other kids at risk here, kids who aren't in danger now because of you. Great. After the commendation, put me in for a humanitarian award. and other people's interests here. That's why we're here. Meanwhile, Courtney has to suffer. Our primary concern is the child. That's why we decided to expedite the hearing on this case. This is not a case. It's about a human being, Courtney. Jenny. What? Her name's Jenny. I'm her mother. You are the one responsible for this? I wanted to find my baby. Why do you want to ruin her life? I don't think I'll be doing that. I can't talk to you. It's OK, Elaine. You did good. Do you want your baby, Elaine? Yes. And go in there and get her. This has been an extremely difficult decision. Although Jenny's adoption was clearly illegal, Miss Jones, if crimes of omission were actionable, you would find yourself in the docket as well. Granted, you have brought forth several credible witnesses to the turnaround you've made in your life, tardy as that change has been. As far as I can see, only Jenny and the Freedmans are without culpability in this matter, and to them I offer my heartfelt apologies. Nevertheless, were it not for the legal constraints, I would be hard put to justify returning your daughter to your custody. But that is the only decision I can make. I want one of my own. There's, you still got time. 
Oh, yeah. Well, it's time for us to leave you two alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Sweetie. <laughs> Guess this is where the real work starts, huh? Well, you know how to work hard. You'll do fine. Thank you both. So much. It's a happy day for all of us, Elaine. For you too, Mike? You take good care of Jenny. I will. I'm gonna show you something. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, well, half of it anyway. <laughs> it's the least I could do. Well, it looks great. <laughs> There's no right answer. Or maybe the answer is 20 years from now. When Jenny's all grown up, we see what kind of person she's become. Hmm. Think we'll still know each other 20 years from now? I hope so. Because one thing I know for sure is what kind of person you are. You're loyal. You're steadfast. You're a real fighter for what you think is right. I admire that. That means a lot, Mike. You, uh, You really want to have a baby? Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be right now. Thank you. 